Hey everyone, I'm here today with the November Pop Sugar Must Have box. Uh, what I love about these boxes is that every box has over, all the items in the box add up to over $100 worth of items in the box. And for someone like me who I don't think that I have enough money to go shopping all the time for myself, I like to save my money. So I do get some nice items for myself as well as the stuff I will not use I save in for gifts for Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. I've actually already given away for birthdays um, a few things from the last box and the box before that and people really enjoy the stuff. So you can get the individual boxes for $39.95 a month and that's like a monthly subscription that you can cancel anytime or you can sign up for a yearly one and it goes down to about $35 a month for a box. I actually signed up before they raise their prices I made sure to sign up for the yearly so it only cost me $31 and change for the next 12 months so that's good um, so I'm gonna get into the box the last couple of boxes have been very promising so I'm hoping that it continues and there's just the little card alright so the first thing I see these look good already is the Bare Fruit Crunchy Sea Salt Caramel Apple Chips. And they're 100% natural. I love that they include food in the box and it's usually like a pretty good size. I mean, this will last me about two servings. So, that's good. And then there is a Land's End Home. And this might be like a little tote bag. They always package everything up so well, too. It's, like, hard for me to get them open sometimes. All right, so this is... What is it? Hmm, interesting. All right, so that's it. I thought it was going to, like, open up and be a tote bag. I don't want to look through the book and find out what it is because then I spoil myself to something else. But maybe I'll find out later on. I don't know if there's like something else in the box that goes with that or anything like that. This is the Na Ti Na Hiti um, Alume. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. It's a soy candle. And remember, I've been telling you guys um, in the last couple of videos for unboxing the Pup Sugar Must Have boxes that I wanted a candle. It smells really good too. Can't really explain it. It's like a Swedish sort of scent, but that's how it is. It smells really good and it's really cute, but it does have the one wick. And in the past, I just haven't had um, good results with a one wick. Usually I go with a two or the three, just because even though it smells good up close, you can't really, doesn't really make the room smell better. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, it's pretty strong, so hopefully it will, you know, work out. All right, let's see what this is. I also love how they wrap everything up because then it feels like, you know, you're opening up like a bunch of presents too instead of just like throwing everything in the box. So this is Mason D. Monaco Strawberry and Black Currant Cream Preserve. All right. So it says, um... It makes it perfect for waffles, pancakes, toast, and ice cream. I'll try it on some waffles. It seems like a good amount of like food in here. Well, it might just be those two things, but this is the soap and paper, maybe, factory, Roland Pine Shea Butter Soap. I can't really read what that says in the script up top, but... Yeah, it's the soap and paper factory. So that's just a, a bar of soap. And this is nail polish remover and the scent lavender. It's acetone free and has vitamin C and E. Could always use some of that. That's exciting. I thought it was gonna be one of those um, rolls of like expression tape because that's how it looked like, like this. And I wasn't excited, but now that I found out that it's nail polish remover, I'm more excited. And this is, well, it's a one size type of deal here. It's a folk, uh, folk 
art wrap. And that's how it looks. And it actually says the price right on the item, which is $42. Sometimes they don't say that. And then there's just um, the $30 to canvas pop, so you can make canvas prints and stuff like that. And I think that's it. This is just an advertisement for, I don't even know what, shopstyle.com maybe. So I'm actually going to open up this card now and see what that is. So this is the Michael Stars wrap. And if you want to see like a picture of it, that's how it looks there. So that's cute. Um, I'll definitely use that. It's getting pretty cold now. Oh, so this naughty candle, wherever it went. Oh, I put it away. Um, there's a picture, there's naughty, and there's nice. So I wonder if some people got nice in their box. So if you get the nice, you know, let me know how that works out for you. So this is a, just a wine tote. So I actually won't use that at all. And I probably won't even, honestly, like keep it to put like a wine bottle in because... The only person that I really give wine to is my dad, and I just see him throwing out this tote, like, right after. So, you know, maybe, like, for to wrap his wine bottle for Christmas, I'll just throw it in there, but I'm not too excited. This is honestly, like, a waste of a product to me. And, yeah. Yeah, they do count the gift card, the $30 Canvas Puff gift card, as must-have home item. So, I mean, honestly, you guys, like, there's some good things. I'm I'm excited for the scarf, and I'm real excited for the candle, because I've been wanting one of those. Um, the, the apple chips, I'll definitely eat these, and, of course, I'll use the soap and the nail polish remover, and I'll try this out. I'm not sure how I like this or how often I will use it, because it says refrigerate after opening, but it doesn't say, like, how long you have after it's open to use it. And that's like one of those types of things where I'm always like, hmm, you know, like I've had it open in the refrigerator for, you know, a month and a half now. Should I throw it out? Should I keep it? You know, what's the deal? Because, you know, like once you look into it, I don't think mold really grows on this sort of thing. I mean, maybe like eventually it does, but I'm sure like it would, the taste would just wear out first. So, hmm, not too excited with this month's box, to be honest. And it's not that the products aren't great. I mean, like I said, like, you know, this was a waste for me, but everything else that I will use. But it seems like they included, like, more expensive types of items in this month's box, so they put less in. I mean, the scarf was $42, whereas the last couple boxes, um, I mean, even though when they included a necklace that was $42, they still included, like, a bunch of stuff. So... I like the box, I'll use some stuff in it, but it's not my favorite. So I'm hoping that December will be a lot better. Um, what I'm glad for is that there is not really any theme going on in this box because the one there seems to be a theme. Like one month there was um, like the washing theme. So they included like a jean wash and uh, like sweater, you know, pill remover and like all sorts of just like keeping things clean and I didn't have a use for half the stuff. I mean, I'm not going to use a jean wash because I go downstairs and do my laundry. So I'm not going to, like, pour that into the community laundry place because I didn't know, like, how well it would work. So um, so when there's a theme, I don't really like the boxes. So I'm just hoping, like, next month will be a lot better. The past few months they've included, like, lots of items. I mean, right now i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items plus this. Whereas the last couple months, I think they included like even like up to nine items. So, you know, let me know what you thought of this month's box. You know, go check out my other videos or if you subscribe to the service yourself, you know, has this been one of your favorite boxes? I'm just, you know, wondering if it's just me, but we all do get the same boxes on like some of the other subscription services. So anyways, I will see you guys next month with another Pop Sugar Box. See you later. Bye.